What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be looking over some things that we're doing on the C7 currently right now. I got the F1X sitting over here. I want to show you guys how awesome it is. Uh, but first off, I am super pumped off coming off last weekend run that 877 in the Corvette. It's been a long time coming. Uh, my goal for when I first bought the car was just to run a 10 or 9 second pass in it. Now that car's going you know, 877, and it's gonna probably go a lot faster next weekend. Uh, so it's, it's just awesome. I'm glad to see the car coming around. It's been a very, very long road. I've owned that car since 2014, so it's definitely awesome to to see it coming around. I've I've spent a lot of time. I've spent a lot of money. Um, you know, my friends have really helped me out getting the car done. That car is just done by me and my friends uh you know we we don't have a shop that we can take that car to and drop it off and pick it up when it's done it's literally been just me and my friends trying to get that car to work and it's working out so far so appreciate all the new subscribers that have been on my channel watching the videos commenting liking keep on going guys it's it's awesome to see what you all think of the c7 i hope you all enjoying it as much as i am so here it is the F1X. Look how big this thing is. Good grief. Alright guys, so I just got the Pro Charger back from Pro Charger. Um, basically, I bought this blower. It was, uh, it was used, but it had just been rebuilt from a local racer here in Kansas City. He was using it on his Fortune Camaro that's been in the fours in the eighth mile before. Uh, so it came off a very fast car. It's got a brand new billet wheel in it. Uh, I had to take it to Pro Charger. They had to re-clock it for my C7. But uh, it's going to be an awesome blower for the car. Um, actually, Pro Charger is building me a brand new one. Uh, but it's going to be about a month or so before it's done. So this will be able to go on the car right now. And uh, I'll be able to have an F1X blower for the upcoming streetcar takeover events. Uh, including Charlotte, which is next weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun, huge turnout. But I wish I had my F1 A94 that we took off the car here, uh, but I do not have it anymore. This blower was so much bigger. This part right here was probably about an inch bigger diameter, almost, than the F1 A94, which is insane. Also, the outlet right here for the cold side to go to the intercooler, this is also way bigger than the F1 A94. So Pro Charger is actually getting us all the stuff um, to make this blower go straight on the C7. Also upgrading me from an eight rib uh, supercharger belt to a 10 rib. So that's gonna replace the supercharger pulley. Uh, it'll replace the add-on uh, to the crank pulley and then it'll have a different idler pulley as well to go from an eight rib to a 10 rib. Um, as you can see, the casing on this Pro Charger is polished on the back. My new one that Pro Charger's built me is gonna be the black powder coat, just like the one on my car now. But it don't matter at this point. This thing's gonna be badass, and uh, it's definitely going to uh, boost the power level of the car, along with the Frankenstein uh, cylinder heads that we're putting on it as we speak. Uh, so yeah. This is gonna be a great upgrade for the C7. Cannot wait until Charlotte next weekend. It is gonna be insane. Guys are out in Charlotte um, or around Charlotte, even on the whole East Coast. Y'all need to come out to Streetcar Takeover. Charlotte is July 6th and 7th in Concord, North Carolina, which is just right outside Charlotte. Z-Max Dragway, four lane drag racing. And then our epic, I mean, epic night meet at Twin Peaks in Concord, which is just right down the street from the track. So the Twin Peaks meet is gonna be July 6th, and it is epic. I mean, last year it was enormous. Uh, so you'll definitely wanna come out. It's such a cool layout for streetcar takeover because everything is just right within a mile. So the track, the hotels, you have all kinds of restaurants, a mall, the Twin Peaks, everything is just all right there. So. If you all want to see what Streetcar Takeover is all about, come out to Streetcar Takeover Charlotte. There's going to be tons of people that are racing. I mean, it is uh, just going to be epic. I mean, when I say epic, I mean it. Uh, it's going to be an awesome event. We have just over 15,000 people on the event page on Facebook, which is our biggest event page ever 
for an event. So we're really looking forward to it. I had a lot of people asking me about this BMW. I put it in my video a couple videos ago uh, at the very, very end of a video. And man, I had people messaging me, asking me what the setup was on it. But here it is, it's a 2018 M3. We just put some avant-garde uh, bronze, antique bronze wheels on it. They're 20 inch wheels. They look incredible on the car. Uh, we did a M performance uh, splitter. It's got the carbon fiber inserts and Tanner's Customs and Collisions actually painted this to match the rest of the car, the bottom part of it. We put some color matched uh, turn signals on, which I don't know if you can see them on the video, but replaced the amber turn signals, which looked really good. Put some H&R lowering springs on it, and uh, that's pretty much all you gotta do to these BMWs to make them look just amazing. So this is it though. It's actually a really fast car. Um, I'm going to take it to the dyno and dyno it stock, and then we're gonna dyno it with the JB4 on it. But I can tell you the JB4 makes a huge difference on these cars, and it's super easy to install. And then we're also going to take some uh, take it to the track. We're going to try to get it to maybe Heartland Park, Topeka, which is about <laughs> about two hours away. We'll drive it out there, make some passes in it. But I think it'll run a low 11. I really do. I think uh, you know a low 11 at about 120 plus miles per hour would be my guess with the JB4, which is impressive for a four door car. Also have some. Nitto NT05 drag radials for the factory wheels that came off of the BMW and when we take it to the drag strip we are going to put those on the car so it's actually going to have a tire which uh, I'm hoping these uh, BMWs have good axles in them because it's uh, going to hook and uh, looking forward I mean if we can get this car in the 10s I mean shoot that's an awesome daily driver it's a four door it drives like a dream and uh, yeah, it could possibly run tens. I think it's pretty close. Got the intercooler all out of the car. Uh, gotta start tearing off the heads, intake, all that good stuff, and uh, get it prepped up for the new, new heads, new Frankenstein heads. It's a pretty big difference. All right, so this is the old one here. F1A94, and this is the new one. This is an F1X. You can see it's a lot, it's a lot bigger. So this is just going to be temporary. It's not all powder coated, but it's going to get me going for right now. Let's see F1X. We got the car. Bray's going to be helping us out here. Uh, I got a lot of events coming up the next month. I got five events coming up in one month, so Bray's gonna help me. Uh, well, actually, he's gonna be doing most of it. Uh, getting the cam in, getting the heads on, so do me a huge favor getting this all done for us. Uh, we'll have it done for Charlotte next week. So, got a lot of work to do. And look at this. Brand new splitter I just put on. Something in the trailer from the way on the way back from uh, uh, Columbus, SCT Columbus must have been rubbing on it. So, real nice. Heads are off. Cam's about ready to come out. We're just moving right along. This is day two. Really, night one almost. <laughs> Everything looks good. Got the new radiator over here from CNR. Just a direct replacement radiator. All right, that's it guys. We'll have another video up here in just a couple days with the car running. 
and then we're going to take it over to just tune get the car retuned put it on the dyno again see how much more power it makes hopefully it makes you know around what i want which is around 1300 but we'll see honestly i just wanted to run a low eight so that's what our goal is for the car and make sure you guys are subscribing liking sharing the videos it only helps my channel grow more so i can keep making all these videos for you guys. It takes a lot of time to do all these videos, edit them, post them. So I appreciate all the love, guys. But thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the update on the C7. Thank you.